remade every mob into cartoon characters in Minecraft. First, let's use this Enderman and remake it into Invader Zim. Shrink his legs down and his chest as well because the Enderman is far too long. Now we need to put on these pokey antenna on the top of his head. Black boots and black gloves. And Invader Zim has these really large ruby eyes. Add the black stripes to his tunic. Now for his pack that contains all of his knowledge. And we've got Invader Zim in Minecraft with his tiny little evil eyes and those little evil antenna. Invader Zim looks mad cute top to bottom, which is quite deceiving because he can almost destroy the world. We're gonna see how many cartoon characters it takes to take down Invader Zim. And I know just the cartoon characters to fight him. We're gonna use this Vindicator and make Finn it's from Adventure, Adventure Time. Time. Pull him apart nearly entirely and start piecing him back together in the general Finn shape. Now let's color on his iconic white hat. And Finn has some long, lanky legs and will open his mask for his face to fit. Texture up the multicolors on his green backpack and toss on the classic Finn face. Did somebody say my name? Finn has entered the arena. And to be honest, Finn is actually looking pretty authentic. Tiny little legs, thin little arms. Let me pull in a pillager and... Wait a second. Finn was made from a vindicator. So we're gonna need a slime instead. And Finn goes instantly right after it, breaks it down in two whacks. One whack for the smaller slimes, another whack on each one. This is actually quite casual and a little bit impressive. I'm a little concerned for Invader Zim currently. But I think we should just get Finn some backup just in case. Let's add Perry the Platypus to help Finn. We can reorganize these parts into an upright platypus. A set of platypus legs. Plug in his beaver tail. And we'll texture his beak and feet yellow. And give Perry his classic brown fedora for when he's not undercover. Perry actually is looking pretty darn cute. Right now he's got his usual detective hat on with his long beaver Tail. But what can Perry do in combat? Maybe three will do. Oh, Perry actually just runs right at him instantaneously. Oh, he's jumping around with some martial arts. My goodness, they don't last a chance. Whoa, that's some of the fastest destruction we've seen ever. What happens if we toss down a bunch of Perry the Platypuses? And if I toss down a bunch of pillagers right here? These pillagers don't last a chance. I am highly concerned for Invader Zim right now. We've got Invader Zim and our buddy Finn. And Ninja Perry the Platypus. We're gonna see who wins. Perry takes the first hit on Invader Zim. Finn close to follow. They actually are conquering him right now with zero repercussions, which is quite impressive. Oh, Invader Zim takes a shot back. Finn is trying to defend himself, but I don't think it's gonna work out. Another whack and Finn goes down. It's just Perry the Platypus. Can Invader Zim even get a handle on Perry right now? Perry's been conquered into the corner. Corner, health is being lost rapidly as Perry goes down right after Finn. That being said, Invader Zim has lost more than half health on a single fight. I think if we make just a few more cartoon characters, we'll probably be able to take him out pretty easy. Let's turn this husk into Zuko from Avatar The Last Airbender. Let's just start with putting on his black shoes. And of course, we're gonna have to get the scar that he got when his dad banished him. The scar's not on the wrong side! Let's texture on Zuko's face and hair now and now toss on his Fire Nation garments and then just the yellow stripe down his shoes and we have got Zuko from the Fire Nation Hello. Zuko here. Pull in a couple pillagers here. Zuko needs to channel the fire within. And he is right off a bat. Throwing some sort of fire pillar instantly at this pillager. That being said, I don't know if it was as strong as Perry was with the instant martial arts zipping around and blasting. But then again, both of those pillagers instantly incinerated. And there goes another pillager right there. Let's get him a little bit of backup though before he fights Invader Zim. Let's use this skeleton to make Cyborg from Teen Titans. Pull off some bones first. We're gonna need to fill out some flesh because Cyborg is half man and half robot. And the Cyborg portions extend up to his shoulders on both sides. But especially half of Cyborg's face is entirely machinery. And Cyborg is looking a magnificent. One of the stronger models we've seen so far today. His red eye 
fierce. There you go, buddy. Two pillagers. Let's see. What will Cyborg do? Oh, he's doing some sort of manipulation technique. What just happened? Some sort of sonic cannon. It works in three hits. Pillager is annihilated. I just don't know if Cyborg is going to be able to get off shots fast enough with Zuko in order to take down Invader Zim, which means they probably both could use a little more help. Let's make this witch into Miraculous Ladybug. We're gonna need to remove the old witch hat. And then her hair is almost purpley blue with two ponytails with a red ladybug mask and her eyes poking through. And now we're gonna need to add on all her ladybug dots. We've got the miraculous ladybug herself looking exactly like a ladybug. The real issue we've been dealing with the last two is that their frequency of ability attacks is quite weak. If Miraculous Ladybug can attack faster, this may be able to actually take down Invader Zim. She's looking right at this pillager and she's throwing out a yo-yo that wipes him out. If we toss down a pillager, we can count it exactly. That's one, two, and there we are with three shots. It's three for all three models. Is that enough to take down Invader Zim? We're gonna find out. We've got Miraculous Ladybug there. We've got Invader Zim. We've got Zuko, and we've got Cyborg. Hello, buddy. Time to do some damage. Zuko is lighting up Invader Zim, and Invader Zim is shooting right back at Zuko, it looks like. Uh, Cyborg is still a little confused over here. It looks like which could be a problem. And there goes Zuko. And there goes Miraculous Ladybug. There will be no avenging. Zuko's banishment. The passivity may have been the best option. But because of it... But because of it, Cyborg shall fall. And we'll find the right cartoon characters that can take down Invader Zim. Let's turn this pig into Bugs Bunny. Of course, we can paint all of his parts gray, then structure him to stand on two feet. Now we'll texture his ears with some gray fur and some white inner lobes. Paint on the classic Bugs Bunny face with a pink nose. Insert one white belly. Boom! The bunny. His ears sticking out magnificently. Now Bugs Bunny Bunny isn't exactly a dangerous cartoon, but we needed to make him a little bit dangerous in order to fight Invader Zim. And the one thing that made absolute sense is this anvil that squishes any mob ever and also causes AOE damage. There's one pillager absolutely squashed, and this other pillager is about to get, boom, annihilated. But given what we've seen so far, we could probably use some extra help. This fox, we're gonna remake into Mickey mouse adjust his head up here so we can plug on a base for his two large ears now we'll stand him all the way up and stitch on his red shorts white gloves and texture on the classic mickey mouse face bang mickey looking spicy granted mickey mouse is a pretty simple model to create but just looking at mickey easily 10 out of 10 and as you can see right there mickey mouse's special attack is actually healing any sort of allied cartoon characters, which means anytime Bugs Bunny takes any damage, Mickey Mouse is gonna actually fire a paintbrush that heals him up, which could turn out to be extremely useful. Let's make King from the Owl House using this rabbit. We can start with his head and place on the two horns that he has. Now texture his head with his white horns, two big yellow eyes, and King has two fingers on each hand. Ah, but one of his horns could be broken off nearly entirely and king from the owl house has entered minecraft cute but dangerous overall i'd say nine out of ten and if we pull in loads and loads and loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of pillagers right here and just watch exactly what king does with all of these pillagers it's gonna be an aoe attack on every single pillager nearby and there's another pillager three more hit right over there these pillagers are not gonna last a chance but I think we can bring in some secret agent turtles to help us out. Of course, we're going to use a turtle to make Leonardo from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Pull his shell up to put on his back and plug his neck on. Now we can insert the ninja.
Ninja Turtle legs and Ninja Turtle arms, Leonardo's blue bandana, and his yellow turtle belly. Then we'll texture the back of his shell to look far more turtle-like and strap on some protective shin straps. And we've got Leonardo, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, with his two katanas, his blue bandanas, and I don't think that Leonardo has a cell of passive in him dual wielding those katanas. Bring in as many pillagers as we want, and I bet Leonardo's gonna just whack, whack, whack to death. They're shooting right back. Leonardo is going hit after hit, actually consuming almost every single arrow that they're shooting him, so I think that he may be able to outstand any sort of Zim Invader attack. The last two. One goes down. There he goes. Leonardo is definitely going to be a great addition, but there's one more cartoon character that we can add. We'll remake this Iron Golem into Garnet from Steven Universe. First, we can retexture the entire golem a Garnet color. Add Garnet's big hair on top here, and now her big yellow star shades that cover her third eye. Then her big shoulders on each side, and Garnet has deep purple textured legs will always rock in a big cheesy smile and garnet looks massive and she sounds disturbing while she walks i imagine just being a golem she can take down a pillager in two hits but we also need garnet to back up every single attack so far and she is also able to fire off her gauntlets to do explosive damage and that explosive damage is actually going to be an aoe attack on any mob in the area so i'm hoping that attack doesn't cause any damage to any of garnet's allies but there's only one way to find out let's head to a brand new new arena and we've got invader sim in corner number one and we've got garnet bugs bunny mickey mouse leonardo and the king himself garnet takes the first whack at invader zim and actually does a significant amount of damage invader zim is fighting back though instantaneously one anvil spawned by Bugs Bunny. Leonardo says, I got pizza and I'm ready to fight. Fueled up and ready for victory. Invader Zim is nearly down to half health. Somebody is about to go down, but we don't know who. Invader Zim falls down to 30%, but Garnet, who led the charge, then takes a wipeout. It looks like the damage is not nearly as intense, and Bugs Bunny goes down as well. Even with the healing powers of Mickey Mouse, this is going to be a very close battle. Mr. Owl and Mr. Mickey Mouse could actually take him down. And wait a second, Mickey Mouse actually used a paintbrush to bring Garnet back from the dead. One of the most impressive things we've seen so far. If Mickey's able to center these paintbrushes around Garnet to keep her up this entire time, and down goes Invader Zim, and that's all it took. 